Hi everyone, today I want to show you two power banks that someone sent in to me. Now, I don't know if these are a joke or semi-serious, but I already knew that they were going to be something a little bit unusual. Now you might be thinking, well you said two power banks, where's the other one? Well it's here in my hand, yes it's absolutely tiny. This has got to be the smallest power bank I've ever seen. Now. These are very questionable. I mean, look at these. If you took these from an airport, you're probably going to end up getting patted down and asked a lot of questions. But they really are power banks. If we take my iPad, for example, we can plug it into this one and it should start charging. There you go. It's begun charging now. Sorry about the reflection. Um, let me just unplug that and plug it back in so you can see again. There you go, charging. And likewise, if we plug it into this one, which is absolutely tiny, minuscule, it should also start charging. And there you go, it's charging. Now, what they told me, and we can verify this later, but what they told me is that this one here is a thousand milliamp hour, which is pretty reasonable considering how small it is. And this one here is 1,500 milliamp hour. Now, you can see here it's got the ZTE or ZTE, depending on what country you're in. Um, the the name, the logo there. So I'm assuming this is either a battery from a cell phone or from a pocket Wi-Fi, something like that. And then they've you know added this module on there. But yeah, very questionable. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some glue and some tape. But interesting, and I thought I would show them. And like most power banks out there, these charge with a micro USB cable. So I'll leave both of these to charge, and when they're fully charged, we'll come back and do our testing. Now that both power banks are fully charged, we'll use my watt meter and dummy load to measure the maximum current that we can draw from this. So let's start with the larger one. And you can see it's currently outputting 5.3 volts. Let's increase the current, so around half an amp. Let's keep going. And at around one amp, the voltage has dropped down to 4.3 volts. So it cannot handle a one amp load, although at 0.8 amp, it's outputting 4.9 volts. Now, hopefully you can see that okay on the camera, but yeah, 4.2 watts, 4.8 volts, that's just about okay. So 0.8 amp is probably the maximum that we can pull out of this one here, which is a little bit low, but I guess it's okay for a cell phone or a USB rechargeable fan or something like that. It's not the highest current, but it's not too bad. Let's try the other one, this tiny little one. So 5.1 volts, let's increase the current. So we're at half an amp and it's holding stable at 5 volts, let's keep going. We're just at 1 amp and it's 4.9 volts, that's good, let's keep going. 1.3 amp and it's still holding 4.9 volts, let's keep going. 1.5 amp and we're down to 4.8 volts, so a little bit of a drop but we can probably take it a bit further, no. So somewhere around 1.5, 1.6 amp is the maximum current draw for this one, which is pretty impressive considering how tiny this little power bank really is. So what I want to do now is test the true capacity of this smaller power bank. Now they told me it's a thousand milliamp hour, but of course that's a 3.7 volts. So that gives us 3.7 watt hours. So using my watt meter here and my dummy load, I'm discharging the power bank at half an amp or 2.7 watts. So, so far we've withdrawn 340 milliwatt hour, but we're looking for 3.7 watt hours. So I'll leave this going until the battery is fully discharged and we'll see if we get anywhere near that. So the little power bank is fully depleted and let me zoom in on the watt meter. You can see that we managed to draw out 3.88 watt hours, which pretty much says that yes, this is a genuine 1000 milliamp hour power bank. So quite impressive to be honest, for something so small it's not too bad. Now since this one turned out to be a true 1000 milliamp hour power bank, I'm going to assume that the person who sent these in already did their testing and this one's going to be a true 1500 milliamp hour power bank. Now on this one it would be easy to tell because this is a ZTE branded battery, you can see that it's just a you know standard cell phone battery or maybe from pocket Wi-Fi something like that. So whatever marking is on there is likely to be genuine. So 
I think it's time we open these up and take a look inside. Now I'm not expecting to see a lot, some tape, glue, and that's pretty much it, a few wires I guess, because you can, you know, we can pretty much assume or you can know that these are just like regular um, charge circuits and battery controllers from existing power banks and obviously they've been added to these batteries. So let's open them up and take a look. Okay, so we can already see two LiPo cells there. I would assume they are in parallel, not series, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we're nearly there. Let me bring in the scissors. Okay, so it looks like we've got two LiPo packs and they've got like a protective metal case around them. I guess that's to protect against puncture. So there is actually some level of protection on this battery pack. Now like I mentioned earlier, this looks like the standard battery charger and 5 volt output that you find in like, all those cheap power banks. And there's a bit of dodgy soldering on there. Um, now looking at this, I actually think this is a GoPro battery because that looks like the same style of connector. And if you look at this, it's roughly the same size as a GoPro battery. So I think what's happened here is they've just reused an old GoPro battery and added the power bank board on there which is quite interesting I guess and you know there's enough tape there to keep everything isolated but of course the downside is that there's nothing to dissipate the heat when you're charging this or when you're discharging it um, so yeah I mean I did feel some heat but nothing excessive so yeah not too bad it's definitely a, an interesting idea let's open up the other one now, I mean, one thing we can say for sure at this point is that these are definitely homemade. I mean, there was really no doubt about that from the start. These are definitely homemade. And you can see this one doesn't have any protection against puncture or anything like that. Um, and again, it's going to have an issue with heat dissipation. But, you know what, it's, it's definitely an interesting idea, that's for sure. And they are very, very portable, especially considering their ratings, because normal power banks, you know, a lot of the safety features and heat dissipation and everything like that does take up a lot of space, but then, yeah, you really do need them. Anyway, what do we have here? Okay, so yeah, pretty much as we expected, it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery or 5.6 watt hours. Again, very, very small because this is obviously taken from an existing power bank and yeah it's just been soldered on there neither of these even have any glue it's literally just tape for everything hmm interesting very very interesting um, they're not perfect that's for sure but yeah interesting idea so thank you to the person who sent these over to me very very interesting if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching